Brody Frame. Check it out, chick. This is literally my favorite, like, sandwich ever. Look where I'm at. Harbor Freight. I normally spend a little bit of money in here. So I just went ahead and piled my truck to make me here. You know, they're waiting on me to get done eating lunch. Then we'll all go in together. Howdy, y'all. So, a few days ago, let's say, what's today? Today's Thursday. This was Saturday. We went to Dixie um, to watch the race. It was kind of cold, so we sit up top all night. But anyway, left Dixie, was coming back towards the house. Well, I'm going through a Dairsville, and they've got like a construction zone or something there where they've been working on the road for 10 years, it seems like. I'm not paying any attention. I'm going 70 miles an hour in a 45 in a construction zone. So, I did not see the cop. The cop did not have his lights on. He was like off to the, he was in the construction part of the road, no lights. Um, I didn't see him. The only thing I seen, I, when he turned his blue lights on, I, I seen him then. So, anyway, I'm, I'm pulling up, you know, and I thought, oh gosh, this is my first time ever getting pulled over, so I'm nervous. Well, Kirkland's sitting over here in the passenger seat, just you know, cracking up because he thinks it's hilarious. Well, I pull over. The cop comes up. You know, he's very nice. I mean, he's like smiled, talking the whole time. And he's like, "What are you in such a hurry for?" And I said, "Well, we're uh, not, you know, no reason. They're just coming, coming home, heading, heading to the house. Where are you heading from?" And I said, "From the races in Dixie, or at Dixie." Well, he looked. He took his flashlight and looked in the back seat. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know what he was looking for, but. He said, uh, well, y'all weren't too lucky tonight, were you? And I don't know if he was looking for girls or what. I don't know, but he was sadly mistaken. Um, so, needless to say, he goes, he gets my license. Well, let's see. Wait a minute. I give him my license and my concealed carry because I've got the gun right here next to me. You know, I didn't want anything to come about with that. So, he goes back. He asked me. As soon as I give it to him, he, he asked me. He said, well, what kind of weapon you got? And I, I mean, my mind was just blank because I was like, sure as the world, I'm going to jail. I'm fixing to get a ticket. Well, anyway, I told him what kind of gun. He goes back to the car. Well, he comes back up to the window, and the first thing he says, hands me the paper, and he says, how about a warning? And just my mind, I said, a warning? He said, give it back to me if you don't want that. I I'll get you a ticket. I said, oh, no, 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 sir. No, sir. The warning is fine. Thank you so much. He said, all right, y'all drive, drive careful. Slow down a little bit. Got it. Don't have to tell me twice. So now coming through there, well, I, I at least slow down right through there. Yeah. But today is that was Saturday. Um, yeah, Saturday morning we went to Collinsville, obviously. That was Saturday night. Then Monday, Brandy and I borrowed Adam's truck and went back to Alabama. And I bought me two water tanks. I'll show y'all that in a little bit at the creek. Um, so I got all that. They've been working on my building at the creek. Oh, we're speaking of the police, there's one over there at the red line. Anyway, they've been working on my building at the creek. Um, so I, I've got a new, I've got a shed. It's like a little block building down there. I'll show y'all in a little bit. But anyway, they put a new, a new little shed off to the side and that kind of stuff. So that that's real nice. I'm glad that's getting finished. Um, but I got water tanks. So water tanks was on Monday. Today's Thursday been kind of working on those a little bit every day in, in, the, in the evenings. Um, did a few different things at the creek. I'll show you in a little bit. But right now, I am heading to Three Rivers Nutrition to get me a Oreo cheesecake uh, shake. And then I got to go to Lowe's, get some blocks for my building that's going to be delivered hopefully within the next few weeks. And then after uh, that gets delivered, I'm having a, well, my, the party will probably be before the building gets here. I'm just trying to catch y'all up because I have not been on here. I've just been doing everything else except here. I was supposed to go to Magnolia this weekend to the cotton picking race, but it rained out already, which is probably a good move because it's raining now. It's Thursday and there's no telling how much rain we're going to get, but anywhere. So heading to Three Rivers and I got to go to Lowe's and then I'm going to the creek. So I'll show y'all. Where are we at, Brandy? Northwest 
gorgeous meat wave. Larry, Larry has drugged me up here. Oh, he drugged both of us. That's all right. I'm getting my racing feet tonight. Yeah, that's right. I could be a Negro making my money. <laughs> Here we go, we missed the hot lap. You want to pay him? No. I'm good. <laughs> Greenville Speedway. Made it here. Let's see. Today is Saturday. I got here Thursday. Got all set up. I'll take you outside and show you that. Got all set up Thursday. You got a nice little slot to film from here. It's pretty nice. That generator was there, so I just used it as a table. Uh, there's another fellow that's filming. We need a shipping container for the um, control tower, and it's very, it, pretty nice. It works pretty good. Um, anyway, so I got here Thursday, got set up, got everything tested. And then Thursday night, uh, Cable Man, he was passing through in his big truck, so we uh, went to Doe's place, Doe's Eat Place. We asked Adam where we need to go eat, and he said go to Doe's Eat Place, so we get out there and we're going straight through the hood I mean like right through the middle so I'm like well this this ought to be interesting so GPS says you know it's just right up ahead on the right or whatever so we pull in and it looks like it should be condemned so we go uh, go to the door and there's two cops standing there so, you know whatever well go in the door and we're like you enter through the kitchen so that that was different um i wish i'd have brought this camera with me i've got a little video that i'll put somewhere right here uh of the inside but so i did not bring my actual camera in but i just wanted to show y'all where we're eating at so this is called doe's place there's the kitchen over here there's like plenty of magazine or newspaper articles but that wall is um awards Stuff. But you, you come in through the kitchen over there, and this place looks like it should be shut down. But <laughs> here we are eating. There's another room back there. Anyways, um, so we go through the kitchen, go in there, get sit down. Uh, she comes up to the waitress comes up to us. What do y'all want to drink? I said sweet tea. But before, let me back up for just a minute. So before this though, I checked in my hotel room, right? So I go in the hotel, I always just like to check it out first. Well, I look in the commode and it looks like somebody's peed in the commode and didn't flush it. So I reached over there and flushed it. Well, I didn't pay any attention. Then I kind of come back and looked again and it was yellow again. Well, it turns out their water down here is yellow. Kind of got a yellow shade to it. I don't know, it's, it doesn't stink or anything, but it's it's kind of kind of kind of weird. But anyways, um, so fast forward, that was at the hotel. Fast forward, got sweet tea. Then she got our drinks, come back, and she said, uh, what do y'all want to eat? I'm like, well, uh, we haven't seen a menu, so we don't know. She said, oh, we don't have menus. Let me just tell you what we got. So they had probably, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 options. Well, some of the options, it started out the steaks, uh, 10 ounce uh, steak, uh, 10 ounce finale, I think it was. And then like it, two pound, to a four pound bone-in ribeye or something like that. I was like, a four pound steak, holy cow. Well, anyway, so me and Cable Man, we both ordered the same thing. Both got the filet, with, came with fries, and they both came with the salad. So we're sitting there eating. We have no clue what none of this costs, you know? I mean, we can't be that, that bad, right? Well, so she brings us our ticket. We ask her what we pay. She can pay here or up front. So we hadn't looked at the ticket at that time. So I looked at the ticket and it says 100 and thirty dollars for two fillets two sets of fries maybe 10 12 fries a piece and two little bitty salads and a sweet tea and a water or lemonade i don't remember what i got anyway 
Oh Lord! So the, the, there's a people sitting next to us, and they had never been there either. So I asked them. Um, I said, "Did y'all buy the place too, or was that just us?" He said, "Oh no, we didn't know it was this expensive." But anyway, it, I mean, it is like a dilapidated old house. Looks like it should be condemned. Um, but it, it was very worth it. I, I mean, I you know I don't know if I'd go back like more than once a year, but any other time I ever had to come back here again, I guess I'll I'll go back because it was a neat experience. But so we pay, get up, go pay the lady, and then we go to the front door, okay, the back door, kitchen, whatever. Well, then this cop, like, he kind of starts walking with us towards the car. Well, there was another cop standing there, so I, I thought this cop that was walking with us was, like, going to his car or something, I guess, you know, leaving or whatever. Well, he was not. He was escorting us to our car because I guess we were in such a dangerous place. You cannot make this stuff up, y'all. I'm telling you. But... I enjoyed the heck out of it. It was fun. It was very fun. Um, I'll go back. Like I said, I'll go back next year. But last night, got set up, got film, uh, film last night. Last night was 4,000 Win Super, so that was, it was a pretty good show. I'd never been here before. Racing was, was really good in just about all classes, so that, that was a, a plus. But anyway, we were live on Flow and Dirt on Dirt last night. And we'll be same thing again tonight. Um, but we'll get done tonight. Hopefully, we're starting at 5, which is in a little over an hour uh, so hopefully we'll start get finished early i mean i probably just jinxed it but i guess we'll find out in a little bit um i didn't get out here till like two o'clock last night which it just blows my mind that that's even possible anymore um it don't matter if you have three million cars but anyways i'm not gonna get on my soapbox so I got out of here around 2 o'clock last night, and that's central time, so that's 3 o'clock at home, so I was extremely tired when I got to the hotel. Left here, I went to McDonald's, going to get me some chicken nuggets, and I sat in line, sat in line, sat in line, was waiting. Well, I waited about 10 minutes, well, the car in front of me gets up there to the ordering thing, and she rolls her window down, and this other girl pulls up beside her. Well, the, both of them... All of a sudden, they, they turn the music wide open, and they get out, and they're just dancing around. Just I have never seen such ignorance. But anyway, so then the lady over the intercom, she's like, Ma'am, can you please place your order? And the girl's like, You just hold on a minute. I'm trying to figure out what I want. And she ain't no more looking at that menu than the man in the moon. She's looking over top of her car, talking to that other girl that showed up beside her. and just uh, So I just turned right and, and, and left before I got myself in more trouble than I needed to. So... I did not get McDonald's last night. I had two pumpkin little Debbies. Boy, this is this road life is just glorious. But anyways, and I'm gaining weight too. That's why I'm wearing black. That way I don't look so fat. But anyways, okay. So tonight got a film. Let's see. It's three. What time is it? Ugh, come on. Don't act fool. It's three fifty. So we'll be going live here in a little bit. Dang, I just talked for six minutes. My goodness. Peace and chicken grease. Here's the racetrack. Let me show you the racetrack. Now, what you can see of it. It's pretty wide. It doesn't really look that wide, but it is. They race out. Last night, the group was all the way up at the top. Hopefully, they'll spread it out a little bit more today. Put some more moisture in the bottom, but it's pretty neat. Pretty good. Pretty good racing. So, it is 2.28 a.m. Central Time, a.k.a. 3:28 a.m. at the house. Um, we had three more features left to run, and we were in the middle of a modified feature. And the modified feature had a wreck going into turn one. The car got all up sideways, and anyway, busted the fuel cell or something, and it went to blazing. I mean, it was just on fire, big fire. So they. Uh, way to run you know trying to get the fire put out you know i mean it the car burns for probably 45 minutes at least so it's just burning and finally the fire department shows up well first they get the water truck out there trying to put it out with the water truck and the, it's i think i think they're running alcohol or something so the alcohol or methanol whatever it was was when they're spreading the water to it, it was following the water towards the water truck down the track. So they stopped doing that. Well, they called the fire department. They got the fire department out there. They didn't have, I don't think they had an ambulance there. I'm not sure. But anyway, finally got the um, fire department there. So they 
put the water to it and got it put out. Well, so then they commenced to working on the track there in that area because of course it was soaking wet from the water and plus it had fuel and oil or whatever. Well, I thought it looked like it was just about ready to go, so um, we were, you know, fixing to start back filming. Well, then the announcer came over the intercom and said, Well, guys, we're calling it um, something about there being too much oil or something on the racetrack and they couldn't get it ran in or something. So, anyways, it's 2 30 now, Central, and I'm in the McDonald's drive thru. Trying to get me some chicken nuggets. And I'm tired. I'm going to bed. After I eat my chicken nuggets. Peace. And McDonald's chicken nugget grease. Yes, my face is red because I'm using the brake lights off this truck in front of me. I'm in the McDonald's drive through Literally just watched a drug deal happen behind me cars just zooming around on the outside here, no tags, music blaring, I mean like I'm sitting here, literally I have my pistol in my lap, trying to get up here and pay and just get my god dang chicken nuggets, oh, I'm gonna die cause I want my chicken nuggets, <sighs> hey y'all, been a minute, um, it's been like four weeks actually, oh no I gotta fix my hair, hold on, Okay, much better. Um, anyway, it's been a minute. It's a sad day here at the house. Look. I'm draining the hot tub. I need to rake leaves, but anyway, I'm draining the hot tub. It's just been getting a little cool, and he ain't able to, he ain't able to keep up. I was running that power bill up, and I ain't about to have that. Not today. Mm -mm. Um, let's see, what's going on? So, this week we've been, um politicking with Brandy. She's been setting out. Today's Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 28th. Um, she has been sitting in Adairsville at Manning Mill um, in, in the, in, under the tent, you know, with her signs and everything up, waving at everybody as they come by uh, to go vote. So, we might, I don't know, we might see her in a little bit, but probably not. Um, I head out in the morning with Crate Racing USA to Charlotte. I'm excited about that. Never been to Charlotte. So, let's get this hot tub drained out. See if I can do this without crying. Ooh. Can y'all hear that? And I don't mean the water run. Apparently my neighbor has decided he wanna learn how to play guitar. Electric guitar. I, I haven't I haven't heard one chord that's in in tune yet. On today's episode of Mitchell Should Have Bought a Truck. Hey, fit fits. We rolling. Before I get all this mess unloaded, I was just gonna show y'all my new project. Ta da! Got me a building. I've been wanting one of these for a while, but got me a building down here at the creek. It's got a loft up there. That whole loft is coming out. I shouldn't have paid for it because I've changed my plans now, but I already did, so it's coming out. This one's going to be staying. Um, but basically, let me turn the camera around. Basically, I am turning this into sort of like a tiny house, I guess you'd call it. It ain't going to be like a full-blown house. It's just going to be kind of like because I had my motor home down here where that pole is. I had it parked there. So anytime I'd want to just kind of get away at the creek or whatever, <sighs> I'm out of breath. I would uh, come down here and kind of spend the night or do whatever. So I went about this building. And I'm going to, well, I sold the motor home. That's where I was getting at. I sold the motor home. So about this building. And that's what I'm going to kind of do with it. I'm going to kind of turn it into like a little tiny house. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to try to do the majority of it myself. So, that ought to tell you the structural integrity of the place, but 
Anyway, I'm gonna try to do it all myself. Went today, bought all this wood. I gotta have all these two by fours. So these are treated, these are pressure treated two by fours by eight foot long. And Home Depot, or not Home Depot, Lowe's, Lowe's had them on sale for four dollars and like 20 something cents a piece. Whereas the non-treated two by four by eights were like almost eight dollars a piece. So I was like, uh, yeah, I think I'll take the treated ones, even though they're going inside. They're just I'm making a wall. That's what I'm doing here. So this here, this board right here, that's going to be a wall, all the way up to here. And then this board laying here, it's going to be a wall. Well, this will be gone, but anyway, it'll be like eight foot tall there. So. And then of course I'm gonna have like a little closet kind of in this corner. But anyway, tiny house. This is it empty. Um, this will be fun journey, I guess. This will be a neat little video sequence here to do with the tiny house. But let's check out the crate while I'm while I'm checking. So I ordered the building right, <clears throat> and it you know it's that color, so it's that gray and that white. Well, I wanted to make my other buildings match, so that was like a ugly brown color, and so was that. Of course, you can still see where that was brown, but anyway. So, that's gray and white. Painted it all to match. There's Mother's piano that is just running, but she wanted it to put out here, put flowers around it. Oh my gosh, something just ran under there. This obviously is not finished yet. I mean, look, it's all brown and white and everything, but we're getting there. A little out of time, folks, a little out of time. But here's the shed. So this building um, used to be a wall right here. This used to be all blocked in. It used to open on the other side, but this shed didn't come all the way out to there. It came like right in here. So we've extended it a long ways. Um, got all this there. There's Mr. Snake. Hey, buddy. Um, all this mess. I had a Halloween party down here. I had a Halloween party and uh, I had all that junk out, you know, grill and everything for the for the party, but let's check out the creek. There's a bridge. So it, that Hurricane Zeta, Zeta, however you say it, came through, you know, the other day. And I'm convinced it come right up this creek because knocked one of my trees over here, blowed it back down the way, and then washed this big log up here. That big old tree there, it's been down for a while. I've been trying to get it cut up, but it just hadn't got cut up yet, but... Anyways, and then my mother, she wanted to lay out these, whatever these are. I don't know what kind of nuts them are, but she wanted to lay them out and see if she could get them to dry up. I don't know what for. But, oh, my Christmas tree, look. So this is uh, uh, like a tree, you know, obviously. And I'm going to take and put Christmas lights on it when it gets a little bit closer to Christmas. So that'll look pretty. I got a new swing, too. Because the ones that were there, somebody sat down in it and busted the bottom out of it. So that one's still holding up. But I bought this new little deal here. And it's pretty neat. It holds up to 500 pounds. And we've all swung on it. But anyway, there's my building up there on the hill. Way out of the way of the water in case the water must get up a little bit. Of course, it won't never get that high. But, and I've never, my whole life, I've never seen it really much past that tree right there. Um, it comes up into there a little bit, kind of gets all around that fire pit, and it laps over the bridge. What in the hell was that? Shit, fire! The neighbors are shooting. Jesus, I'm gonna have to tell Justin he done scared me to death. But, anyways, Lord, I got to go now. That done scared me. <laughs> these pallets these are big old pallets they're probably like I don't know let's see one two three four five six seven seven foot long by one two three foot wide um 
Anyway, there's a bunch of them, and they are heavy. So, I had the truck down here the other day, and I had them up past the cab, like way up here, you know. Well, I was just going to jump up on the back of the truck and pull them off. Well, that was a mistake. So, Kirkland was over there. I was just going to, like, pull a couple of them off, you know, jump out of the way, let them fall on the ground. Kirkland was over there, and he was like, you're going to get hurt. Well, of course, I didn't listen to him. So, naturally, I pulled the things, and... They fought, two of them fall on top of me, like all on my knees, my feet, and everything. Damn near th tore my thumb off there. It, it was bad, but anyways, so I've already, how do I turn this thing around? My gosh, I've already got uh, some battle scars from working down here already. And I even have my gloves on. Came through my glove. And line at Zaxby's. Can y'all see what that tag says? too dark, too bright. Anyway, it says M-A-C-K-T-R-K. Park that big Mac truck right in the middle of the rod. It's too daggum early for this. Got up at... What time did I get up? I think I got up. And yes, I did. I got up at 6.45 a.m. to get all this shit in my car to head to Sonoya. So that's where I'm going today for the showdown or shootout, whatever it's called. I don't forget. But anyways, um, Magnolia was fun. I enjoyed Magnolia. I always do. So a week later, here I am heading to Sonoya. I'm going live tonight. And I plan on driving back home tonight, so I hope I hope I can hope I can do that. This is gonna be a long day, but that's what I signed up for, so here we go. Um, excuse me, why did nobody tell me I had chicken biscuit all up on my nose in that last video clip? It, it, it's been a month a whole month since I've uploaded a video. So this, 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 all of these clips is like stretched out from, I think, September, and it's already November the 22nd. So this is a new video. I think this is episode five of the life. No big deal. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video, but th this one's all stretched out. So good luck keeping up. I'm going to start over tomorrow.